introduce you to a few speakers. I just want to say a couple of words. Uh, I want to give a special welcome to our political representatives attending. And in addition our speak to our speakers, uh, we have Bob Callahan, who is a City of Brampton Councillor with us, and uh, Councillor Callahan is a member of the board as well. Where are you, Councillor Callahan? Are you hidden? Is he not? Oh, he's not here yet. Oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> I also hear that the original home builders of the subdivision, Green Park, will be with us, and uh, it's nice to see you coming full circle. It's really exciting to see this project come together because we've been working on it uh, for over a year and uh, before that I was in the thought process for, for a year before that. So, uh, so it's very exciting to actually be able to be here and, and cut the ribbon. We are uh, pleased to be leading this project as Toronto Conservation Authority on behalf of a number of partners and it reaches a whole new set of, uh, of rules and of engagement and uh, territory that we're all treading into this whole idea of existing home and existing community makeovers. This has, uh, and we have to have both the private sector and the public sector working together on this to ensure that we can uh, achieve the results that we're after. Of course, you know these things don't happen without a lot of people behind the scenes, and I want to give special mention to a few of the uh, key players in all this. Uh, first off, Shannon Logan from Toronto Conservation Authority. This wouldn't have happened without her dedication and uh, been ably assisted by a number of TRC staff, including Justina Braithwaite, Cliff Coppolito, uh, Glenn McMillan, Dean Young, who I don't think Dean's here, I didn't see, oh, just walking up the street, <laughs> and Sanim Killick, where is Sanim, is up here manning the camera, who's uh, done a lot of the communications. From the City of Brampton, I want to thank uh, Randy Brown from the Building Department, and Kelly Brooks and Marianne Gordon from Corporate Communications. 